Yo, what is good, YouTube? We are back with another video. If you guys are not in the free Discord, go join it. It is the first link down below. This is going to be episode 8 of the Trading Den V2. If you guys haven't watched any other uh, episodes, I recommend go watching them. Get more in depth of what we are looking at in the markets and then come back to this video this one is going to be about higher time frame institutional order flow right i like to trade inside of what the higher time frame order flow is doing so if we're in a bullish market i want to be looking for longs right if we're in a bearish market i want to be looking for shorts why because if you're aligned with the higher time frame order flow moves will happen quicker faster and more aggressive right if you are trying to long a bearish market, the moves will come, but they won't be as quick as shorts, right? If you're in a bullish market, long or shorts will work, but not as quick as longs. That is why I like to trade in line with the order flow on the higher time frame, right? So what time frames do I look at for higher time frame order flow? Weekly, daily, four hour, right? These are the three charts that I take a look at. To identify higher time frame order flow what do i use for the higher time frame order flow order blocks fair value gaps highs and lows right order blocks to give you the market maker model fair value gaps to show you displacement in the market highs and lows because if we're rejecting highs and we're breaking lows we're in a bearish market if we're rejecting lows and breaking highs we're in a bullish market right and then these pd arrays will give you the setups on the lower time frames to get in line with the higher time frame right so let's head into the price action from here right we'll go over all this price action how you could identify bearish uh, order flow from here flipping to bullish from here going into bullish right so right here what do we see in this price action right let's just get this out of the way we're not doing too much right we're breaking lows we're breaking highs we're breaking highs we're breaking lows and vice versa right we're in a consolidation market right here we're at all-time highs the market has nowhere to go we're just consolidating okay but right here when we make this break lower that's where you want to be looking for okay where can we bounce what are we doing are we going to keep pushing lower are we going to this low are we going to this low are we going back higher that's what you want to be looking for so the weekly chart right up here we're we're not doing nothing right you can see it clearly right here on this down move what do you see over here right so we have a fair value gap and we have this down close candle what's my eye gonna be on right here why fair value gap expansion order block right this is now gonna be your higher time frame key level so we have a higher time frame key level and now we want to be scouting are we going to break higher or are we going to continue lower and break this low right so we have a higher time frame key level we also have this fair value gap but once again you want to be looking for the down close candles because that gives you more precise price action right so weekly to four hour right don't worry we'll go over time frame alignments as well so four hour chart right here's your weekly uh pd array what happens at this high right here we have an expansion through this high giving you your market structure shift okay so let's get rid of this order block what happens down here right well we have these down closed candles right this dug into liquidity right we rejected off of it so from here we're rejecting lows breaking highs right expansion through a high break a low expansion through a high that is whenever you want to be saying this to yourself okay well it is wednesday coming into the market we have just broken through a high we rejected a low so what is more probable rebalancing here or a continuation right well since we have had an uh, expansion lower you want to be looking for a rebalance of this price action okay so we have these two down close candles that did what traded into this order block right so these down close candles traded into this order block and an expansion higher now your eyes go to this candle order block dig into that order block expansion higher this is when you say to yourself okay we are not going lower we have flipped order flow to bullish right 
hit an order block, expansion through a high. Fair value you got? Uh, this is Friday morning, continuation, right? Fair value you got? Continuation. This is the overnight session. Then Tuesday rolls. Oh, wait, that's Monday at a.m. session. Tuesday rolls around. What do we do? Come lower. Where do we go? Order block here. Mean threshold of this order block. Look at the bodies. Bodies respect mean threshold of this order block. What do we do? Stop hunt a low. Now a protected low. Stop hunt. Expansion higher. High. Expansion through that high. Fair value gaps through this high. Bullish market. Right? Continuation. What do we do after an expansion? Consolidation. What do we have up through here? Well, we have all these fair value gaps. Fair value gaps. Continuation. Right? What happens with this candle right here? Digs through lows. CE of this uh, wick right here. This is now an order block, right? You can use the series of down close candles. Comes down, hunts these lows, right? Hunts these lows, taps into an order block, breaks through highs, right? Fair value gaps through highs. What do we do here? Taps into that fair value gap, continuation higher. What do we do here? Fair value gap. continuation higher fair value gap through the high stop on a low break a high right down close candle that took out a low boom order block right continuation so what happens at this high well let's go check it out because i actually don't know why can i not go to the daily chart okay where am i all right. Okay. So there we hit our draw on liquidity, which was this high, right? So now what do you want to do? You want to be scouting for uh, daily PD raise. See if we reject lows, break highs. What do we have here? An old low inside of what? Fair about, excuse me, fair value gaps. We have a high fair value gap through that high. Digs into the fair value gap breaks through highs with what fair value gaps continuation what do we have up here stop on an old high or not an old high we have a stop on at equal highs rebalance a fair value gap what do we have here closure above this candle order block holds this order block right we do not break this low continuation higher right and then if we want to go down to the four hour Right here is that stop on at an old high breaks through lows. So what do we look for from here? Shorts down to the PD array that we expect a bounce from, right? Market structure shift, PD array, fair value gap, highs, peak above. What do we have here? Order block, right? I know this is getting confusing with all these drawings now. Fair value gap. Now we have an order block because we have tapped into a four hour PD array holds this order block continuation down to this low right uh do we take that low low 28 low 26 stop hunt this low right i know it doesn't look like we do but if i pull this up you can see that we peak below it a little bit so what's this create Jeez, what's this make it an order block right you can use the wick come into this order block stop hunt an old low what do we have here down close candles get closed above order block right reject lows break highs pd array what do we have up here a high break it with a fair value gap fair value gap down close candles break highs fair value gaps right fair value gap high break it but not really much displacement, right? Now, this is where it's getting interesting, right? We have a high, come down, break that high with a fair value gap, right? So what would you do coming into the market on this day, right? This is where weekly profiles can come in. It's a Thursday. Thursdays like to create high of week. Stop hunt a high, right? And if if we want to go down to the one hour what do we see here 
no displacement above this high right one hour chart right this is what you can use intraday no displacement above this high huge displacement lower go to the four hour right now let's get rid of all this this is where we can start to expect okay are we going to be flipping order flow stop hunt huge fair value gap up close candles dude just the giant fair value gap measure equilibrium we have an old high above equilibrium in a premium what do we do stop hunt the high when do we get a closure below this candle right here right nothing to do in this price action stop hunt this high oops now we close below this candle now it's an order block come up right yeah, we do disrespect the body, but this entire candle is your order block. Displace heavily off of it. This is when your brain starts flipping switches. Bearish order flow has came into effect, right? We are now flipping into bull or bearish order flow, right? Why? Stop on of an old high right here. No displacement through the high on the one hour. Even on the 15 minute, I, we probably did not displace through that high, right? 15 minute no displacement above it no fair value gap there's no reason to continue higher from here right so now we are coming into the market saying i want shorts i want to try to short this market i want to see us go lower from here okay so what do we have here fair value gap continue lower fair value gap continue lower what do we need before going lower though before we have a big expansion lower, what do we need? A rejection of an old high. What do we have up through here? Highs. Come up. Notice, notice, no displacement through old highs. No displacement, no market structure shift. Whenever we hunt old highs, if we're in bearish order flow, we won't displace through it. If we do, expect that pd rate to be violated if we are coming into a weekly daily pd array expect this if this was a fair value gap expect it to get violated but notice no fair value gap yeah we do have one down here but we're not displacing through the high stop hunt of a high right one more stop hunt then we displace super lower right this is like what is this thousand point move oh my gosh a thousand points right there right so what do we do here <clears throat> hunt an old low displace through highs right displacing through highs market structure shift daily chart what do we have fair value gap weekly chart what do we have nothing okay daily chart what do we have here stop hunt of a high what what day is this don't worry we'll get into weekly profiles what day is this thursday thursday high of week reversal profile stop hunt of thursday's highs using weekly profile to gauge what price is likely to do disrespects all these pd arrays this is another example of flipping order flow when we're disrespecting bullish uh pd arrays not breaking highs with displacement disrespecting all these pd arrays right huge displacement lower and then actually this is the day that we had that is that the day we had that 1000 yeah this is the day that we moved a thousand points and took out this low so not really much you can do there except go to the lower i mean this monday this day when we had that thousand move thousand move points i forget what happened but this day happened in the overnight session i i mean you can't really do much so that's just like one of those days where you're like whoa black like a black swan kind of thing right but what do we have here down close candles closure above we're flipping order flow smt at the lows don't worry i do remember that smt at the lows closure above these down close candles that dug into these lows right if 
I want to mark this low out, we dug through those lows. Closure above the series of down close candles. Flipping order flow. Right? Hunting an old low. Oops. Hunt an old low. Displace up. Right? We break the high. No displacement yet. So what are you going to want to do? See if we respect the bullish fair value gap. Come down. Tap into the fair value gap. Hunt this low. Right? We take out that low. Closure above this candle. Order block. Right? Respect the order block. Even measure out mean threshold. Tap mean threshold. We have a high. Displacement through the high. Flipping order flow. Fair value gap. High, displace through the high. Fair value gap, high, displace through the high. Right? <laughs> I mean, okay. We're almost done. I'll, I'll go over this, right? We take out an old high inside of a daily fair value gap. Also, fill out this uh, new day opening gap. Hunt this high. Notice, no displacement through this high. What day is this? Thursday. Thursday high of week huge move lower fair value gap respect the fair value gap break the low fair value gap up here respect and then this is whenever we were forming smt with all these highs up here i wish nq would have took all these highs i think that this looks really bad right we have quad equal high <laughs> we have quad equal highs up here so if you're trying to long to take these equal highs i don't blame you i mean there's not much you can do when nq just creates quad equal highs until we displace lower right once we displace lower then you can be like okay let's look for shorts right fair value gap stop hunting old high displace lower right disrespect of a fair value gap so let's go down to the daily what did we come down into this lower order block right come into this lower order block now we are starting to get somewhere right but there's not really much to do with this price action here until this bullish smt highs all throughout here heavily displaced through the highs fair value gap right and then this is where I started longing, right? Throughout this price action, I was shorting. And then th this day right here, right? I was even shorting on this day on Wednesday, which I did uh, take off with profit, right? Because this was a 200 point wick at one point. This was a 200 point down close candle at one point, And then it flipped green. So, right, you have to understand that you're, you're not, not taking off positions here, right? But I was shorting this day. And then Thursday comes around, I start longing. Why? Breaking highs with fair value gaps, right? Friday comes around, what are we doing? I mean, Friday, we didn't really do much. We did continue higher, right? And Friday, I took a long right in here because we had SMT. We don't need to come down to this fair value gap, right? Wow. Uh, 18 minutes of nonstop identifying order flow. Wow, my eyes kind of hurt from that now, right? But this is all you have to do. Are we rejecting lows and breaking highs with fair value gaps and respecting down close candles, right? In bullish order flow, we should respect down close candles. Bearish order flow, we should respect up close candles and reject highs, right? Take highs and not displace through them. Break lows with displacement. That's all you have to do to identify higher time frame institutional order flow. Use order blocks for value gaps and highs and lows. So, yeah, other than that, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go uh, hit the gym, go for a little run, and, yeah, enjoy the day. It's nice and sunny out. So I'm going to get out of here, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in Episode 9 next, I think. So peace out, everybody.